man, where would we be without this technology? Seems to be the murder weapon. Oh boy. Oh, looks like we have a recording. Figure this out. Seems to me like this was a suicide. What would we do without this technology? Oh, I'm calling it. Hello. Chief, you're gonna need the coroner down here. I got some video to show you and a murder weapon, and a really big dead body. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it, sir. This country. ShareMe, the nation's largest social media company, was recently hacked, leading to every user's top emoji being leaked. Dwight A.Y. Lips covers the now besieged tech company and talks to the embattled CEO, John Perez, behind it all. This is Spice News. All right, so we are now here at the uh, Share Me headquarters, SMH as people like to call it. Um, and we really want to get into the roots of the emojis, um, the secret behind them, um, how much personal information is being leaked behind them. Why are they covering and holding so much information behind the emoji? So let's go and get into it. John Perez, the flamboyant, loudmouth CEO who famously puked on the Queen's face with backlash from all 1.3 billion users on Share Me. Let's go ahead and get into it. We are here at Share Me headquarters to so ask around to see how the hack has impacted daily operations. Are you aware of how the hackers may have even did what they did? Uh, so we have uh, about 64 interns working on trying to reverse engineer how these hackers are able to do it. Uh, a lot of times it's as simple as someone opening up or clicking an email link and uh, that's called phishing. But we think these hackers were a little more sophisticated in their methods. We think they probably did some type of backdoor SSLQ but quite frankly, we don't want to talk about it too much because we ourselves don't know it. It is an ongoing investigation. We've been in contact with the authorities. 
All right, so here we have with us a local citizen, Eddie. Um, so, Eddie, how do you feel about the hack that's been going on? You know, I'm just really concerned about it. Um, I, I mean, someone being in charge gets hacked. Who's to say I can't get hacked either? I just think that's really kind of scary. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I just don't think it's good. So I see you have a sheet of paper with you. Uh, is that your favorite emoji? It is, yes. Um, so I'm actually going to show the world what my uh, most used emoji is so that no one can do that, uh, hack me. Uh, so very confidential, very confidential. Wow. It's the ghost. The ghost. Yeah. It's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a ghost. So you work here at ShareMe. Um, what is it exactly that you do here at SMH? I work on the legal team. Okay. Um, so I have a question for you. Uh, would you like to explain to me this emoji right here? No comment. Hmm. Uh, the reality is, is we don't know too much, but the more we know, uh, we'll tell. Okay. Um, I have a couple uh, emojis that I would like to share with you, if that's all right with you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so I, I have here um, this emoji. Um, anything? Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. What, what's, what's going on? Whoa, what, wow. Sir. Well, I guess that's, that's that. Um, yeah. Any more final comments? Mr. Perez, Mr. Perez, you have anything you else you want to say? Wow. We have yet to see the true depth of the breach but it is clear that the story is just starting. While the question of privacy is left unknown, what will we be without te this technology? Hey Max, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, but I have some bad news for you. What happened? It's all over Instagram, man. Your girlfriend, Apple, she's been cheating on you. I don't believe your magic box. What happened? I just found out my girlfriend is cheating on me. What are you gonna do about it? I just need to know for sure. Well, we can track her location if you want. How? The Snapchat. What is Snapchat? It's something that they can take pictures and you can locate wherever they are. I want to see this. Right. Well, you can track her on Snapchat using her location. Show me how to do this. Just kind of open the app and then you'll see her name on there, like Apple. And then you can look at what she posted and you can track her location from there. I don't recognize this location. We should go find her here.
what happens when you let your road rage get the best of you. Was that copyrighted footage? You know, as an actor, this is not really my main concern in this whole like process. Yeah, but like as a filmmaker, I feel like it was fair use because of the critique on capitalism and technology. As a filmmaker, I thought the entire vision was clouded. Mm -hmm. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for drama, but drama has time for me. I'm my own sugar daddy now, because my other one died. I'm just getting paid a lot to be here. I just escaped from the zoo, and I'm ready to go bananas. Did you hear about Brit? No. She's back from the zoo. Randy! Brit is back from the zoo. I literally don't care. Brit literally doesn't even have a cell phone. I don't know if I can be her friend again. Kara D Detox Tea, Dot Biz. Like it was such a beautiful experience and I really found my inner self. A little cold, but you know, yeah. we're all doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I, I didn't miss about the cold up here, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 You guys, is that a smartphone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, isn't it great? I love it. Do you want to group FaceTime like we used to? 